Well, two Montreal teens are being hailed as heroes for saving a husband and wife from drowning during their trip to Barbados. Zoe Ireland McClensick and Emma Basterman were boogie boarding when they pulled a British couple to shore. The girls are in the Barbados with Dorval Swim Club, and Emma is training for the 2028 Olympic trials. The people who were rescued were lucky to have strong swimmers nearby, that's for sure. And this morning, we are joined by one of the heroes, Zoe Ireland McClensick. Zoe, thanks so much for joining us. I see that you're still in the Barbados. Uh, with all that sunshine beaming in behind you. So tell us exactly uh, what happened in this situation. When did you know that something was going wrong out there? Um, well, it started by, um, I was boogie boarding with my friend Emma and I heard a faint yell for help. So I was looking around and I saw a girl in the distance uh, wearing a bright orange bathing suit. So it's pretty easy to spot her. Um, so I immediately went out and um, she told me that her husband was further out and that she needed a lifeguard. Um, and I told her that uh, the beach we're staying at, uh, it doesn't have any lifeguards on it. So I put her onto my boogie board and I pulled her back to shore by going parallel to the beach until the current wasn't so bad and I went straight back in. And then I went out and got her husband and pulled him in by going parallel to the beach. Wow. Well, it's incredible. Now, Zoe, you and Emma are obviously uh, strong swimmers here. You obviously are, are trained in how to swim. But in terms of life-saving and, and actually the sort of, you know, precariousness of this, I mean, a lot of people, you know, wouldn't necessarily do what you did. How did you have the confidence to think that you'd be able to pull, mm -hmm. like, two adults out of the ocean who were drowning? Because that, that is a dangerous situation for yourself as well as them. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, but uh, I would say that my adrenaline, it was, it was pumping, and I just acted as fast as I could, um, and thankfully that saved two lives, but uh, Emma and I tried to act as quick as possible um, to bring them to safety, uh, but yeah, thankfully it saved two lives. Mm -hmm. And the couple you saved, Belinda and Robert Stone, uh, when you brought them to shore individually, what was their condition like? Did they, did they need any kind of CPR? Did they need help? Um, no, they didn't need any CPR. Um, but they were still in shock from what had happened. So they were breathing heavily and they were thanking us a lot. They were wow. very grateful for our actions. Yeah, you saved their lives. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. You can understand how thankful they were, Zoe. Yeah. So let's talk about the reaction. I mean, I know you've done some Canadian media, but what's the reaction been like in Barbados or at the resort? Can you and Emma walk around? Are you sort of getting showered with praise as you head around the resort? What, what's it like there for you right now as well? Um, well, it's really great here. I love it in Barbados, but we are getting a lot of uh, comments on it, um, positive ones. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, everybody's so proud of us, especially because in Barbados. Yeah, the absolutely. The population of uh, people who, know, who don't know how to swim is 97%. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, they don't know how to swim. So uh, it was really good that we were there at that time. Yeah, Zoe, before uh, we get to a clip of uh, Belinda and Robert, I just want to know, how old are you and, and Emma? Uh, I'm 13, and Emma's 14. Oh, my goodness. That is remarkable that is to amazing. think that you rescued people like that. So let's hear from the couple you rescued before we kind of let you go here. So hang tight, Zoe. We're going to listen to this, and then we'll get one final thought from you. I really feel like we've got a good guardian angel looking out over us. A guardian angel looking over you. So, mm -hmm. Zoe, you're, you're a guardian angel to some people. That is pretty amazing. Uh, you know, any final thoughts? What would you say to someone who saw, saw people in distress? I mean, again, you're strong swimmers. What's your advice to people if, if you see something like this in their own lives? Um, well, make sure you have something that they could grab onto and make mm -hmm. sure it's not yourself. Because mm -hmm. if you do give them your hand, they could pull you under. Right. So um, I recommend having a floatable item or something that they could grab onto but uh check for if there are any lifeguards try to get their attention but if it's if you have to take matters into your own hands be as careful as you can mm -hmm. and um as safe as you can because wow. not only are you risking your life but you're risking theirs as well Okay, very wise words from such a young hero. Zoe, thanks Thank so much you. for joining us. Enjoy the rest Thank of your you. trip uh, at the Barbados yeah. and take care. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Appreciate Thank the time you. this morning.